I do not get alcohol, drugs, and athletics. I don't get it. I really don't get it. So you, the those who like to smoke and drink and then expect to play sports, how and why do you do it? I really want to an answer to this question because I'm running into kids. And I'm pretty sure. And like, I grew up in Howard County, Columbia, Merlin. So it was a suburb. But yet, my boys, they started smoking and drinking in 12. So I know it's not anything new. But I had a different mindset. I wanted to go to college to play sports. Playing sports, logically, you utilize your body. Alcohol makes you dumb unbalanced illogical and then it's a true serum so you'll do exactly what's on your mind which isn't always good never smoke so I don't know what that does but it must be amazing because you got multi-millionaires giving up their career to smoke please 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 explain to me what is so great okay this is my logical thinking Smoke and drink, free scholarship, free money, free education, a multi-million dollar contract, smoke and drink, multi-million dollar contract, smoke and drink. I don't get it. Please explain it to me. And I wish the uh, NCAA and the NFL or whatever, only thing they really should check for in my opinion when it comes to sports is enhancement drugs if you want to do any kind of street drug or illegal drug pop pill drug let them have at it because then that gives the opportunity for somebody who's actually working hard to supersede the ones that are naturally talented and ones that are favored and put in the front a young man in the NFL from my understanding It was the number one receiver in the NFL and chose to smoke and came up with illegal substances in his urine. I don't get it. Smoke and drink after your career is over as much as you want. You'll have multi-million dollars and blow it like every other professional athlete does. Nobody will bother you if you're smoking and drinking in your house because there's no test to be taken. Logically, how does it make sense that I'm underage? So first off, I can't drink until I'm 21. I think that's the rule now. It might be 18. I don't know. I don't check. I haven't checked. I'm not really a drinker. But how is this going to help me? Somebody please explain it to me. Tell me, how is this going to help me get better? How is this going to help me get a scholarship? Oh, it's just, I just drink a little bit. I just drink on the weekends. What you don't understand is if you ask any alcoholic, if you drink, binge drink, you drink to get drunk every weekend, consistently, for years, you are an alcoholic. Whether you want to believe it or not, and if you're denying it, you probably already caught up. Addiction is something that's serious. Ask any addict. So I don't get it by creating these habits you're not going to last long. Putting these substances in your body increases your risk of getting hurt. Because now you're not resting. You're not sleeping. You're up partying, drinking, chasing women, doing dumb stuff. Instead of getting prepared and ready for the next level. Or for the next game in some situations. I've seen some stuff. But please, for all you dummies that... <clears throat> got kicked out of school for drinking and smoking explain to me why do you feel that you exempt why do you feel that if it happens to you because you could play a sport that they're not going to kick you out of school explain it to me because it makes absolutely no sense because some of y'all are blowing your opportunity one to go to school and then two probably go pro 
I got at least three kids in my opinion right now that are pro athletes. They don't know it, but I can see it because of the natural talent that's already there. Their natural maturity will get them there. They'll want to on the field will get them there. But two of them are home right now from alcohol and not passing the NCAA test. Drug test, that is. So now you have all this talent sitting home. So you wonder, how do pros make it to the pros? Some of it, like I said, some are highly favored. And they can slide through, but it always catches up. And then you got some who get the opportunity and don't blow it. I've seen people who I think, in my opinion, should be in the pros. But guess what? One, they weren't coachable, or they wanted to do what they wanted to do. Smoking, drinking, chasing women. Smoking, drinking, chasing women. How is that productive? How much money you made smoking, drinking, you spending money, and then you got women, you definitely spending money. Please explain it to me. I need somebody who's been in this situation to make it make sense to me. You got guys who got multiple million, multiple million contracts and giving them up to smoke. Giving up multiple millions to smoke. I never was afforded that opportunity. I don't smoke. I take it. If if you need somebody, no, I ain't taking no more hits, man. Can't take no more hits. I'm too old for that. I just gotta keep getting these boys right. <sighs> that's that's my venting stage. I don't I don't get it. Drugs and sports don't mix. So where's the logic in it? Oh, you cool. Cool now. Understand, if you're an athlete, you can't take your whole team with you. If you're an athlete that's from the hood, you can't take your whole hood with, with you. You might be able to bring one or two, but everybody can't come with you. It's not meant to. That's why you were given that talent. Not everybody. Understand that everybody one, probably not even in your favor. Oh, I was called weird. What's wrong with you? Why don't you drink? What? Really? Why don't I drink? One, because I'm underage. Two, I see you. Looking like a dummy. I got a new thing called the Fred G. Sanford Award. All you, all you dummies out there, you big dummy. Smoking and drinking, giving up a scholarship. Smoking and drinking giving up multiple million dollar contracts you done that's I, I don't know what else to call it because it's not even logical if you have some kind of medical issue get it fixed ask somebody and if the the medical the the, the medicinal medicinal purposes is, is is what it's for make sure you get your card so then that point then you might be able to slide and do some stuff but i don't get it I, it makes no sense to me. Intoxicating your body does not help with anything. Anything. Unless it's for medical purposes. Alright. I, I finally got that on my chest. But yeah, y'all dummies out there, um, on my fault. The ones that who have been, you know, misappropriated with the alcohol and drugs and your lost their career I want to know what is so great about it because after after 21 I tried drinking like I said I know alcohol you lose your balance you do exactly on your mind which is in all, not always good in public situations and you can't speak it makes you dumb So I don't do it. Like I said, never smoke. But it, it has to be amazing. Because these dudes is giving up scholarships and multiple million dollar contracts. So that might be the reason why the government won't let it free too, man. But all right, Coach McCants, leave me messages, man. Leave me, let me know. Because I know y'all know somebody who I'm talking about.